Alright, good evening everybody and welcome to another episode of the punctual run of Majora's Mask. This is episode 7. I've taken a little bit of a break. I'm recording this uh, today. It's the 4th of January. The last time I recorded it was um, Boxing Day. So we've actually crossed over the new year in real time in, in the game world. I know my next upload will be uh, on the 8th of January local time I think so that's that's where we are at the moment and I think last time we we're up to the third day oh oh what's going on here that's right I created a restore point rather than uh, <laughs> okay whoo so we'll go into that restore point thank god I freaked out there for a second okay yes it's evening of the second day and we just failed doing this test and I think I was going to see if I could do it again and he's back again so let's serenade him one more time oh no that's the song of time <laughs> what am I trying to play here no It's almost a prelude of light. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go back into the start menu. Uh, okay, all right. I was close. I was playing notes. All right. Let's do this thing. And this time we're gonna try it as the Deku scrub. Why am I running that way? I hate the targeting in this game sometimes. Uh, we can't touch the fire though, and we can't actually kill. Much better timing. Come on! Why are my fists so inaccurate? Oh, he's too far ahead of me. I need the precision of a gilded sword. Okay, no, he's he's too quick. Yeah, no, nah, we we can we can get there this time. So, I guess we'll head back to our uh, the Great Bay and continue our mission of Mikau the Zora last time on Zora Egg Z the Z is for Zelda uh, Mikau had got all seven Zora eggs and made a wish to learn a really hard to play song on a control pad uh, and now we're gonna play it to his girlfriend so that she will open up her temple to him which I swear is not a euthanism Let's do it. Uh, you can come here when you have no idea what's going on, and all the band members give you like bits of backstory uh, to help you find the eggs. But I just remembered where they were, so we're gonna just swim right around the side. It's gonna get a little bit murky, but we should be fine. And then we can just jump straight up onto this platform over here. Some aquatic acrobat acrobatics. No, we missed. <laughs> And uh, we'll find, is it Lulu? And we'll also find a stone statue. So we'll smash that. We can't smash that. Because I don't have a sword. But we will uh, play our song. <laughs> My god. Got it. So many miss keys on this joystick. Alright. Mr. Turtle is here and we can finally hitch a ride through to the temple. Alright, one thing I will do is just grab a fairy. Got it. <laughs> but here we are in probably the second to worst water temple ever made. It's very frustrating and, and backtracky. Um, but we're going to get our fairy mask on and find some fairies around here. Come here. Got it. There we go. First ferry down. And this room is clear. Alright, this room presents several ferry opportunities, so let's have at them, shall we? I think there's one in this spider. Boom. There's that one. And then there's one under the platform I'm on, from memory. Can dive. 
No, jump. And then there might be one more still. Oh, what am I doing? No! I can't breathe! There we go. Where's the pot? Missed. Yeah. Dang it. Ha! Perfect. Now I just want my fins back. Come back! <laughs> okay, so we've got four fairies already. Let's show you a little little life hack that you can use only in the uh, Nintendo 64 version. See, when he transforms, he transforms to where his feet are. So I'm pretty sure you can do this and grab on. <laughs> you just hold forward, and I think I can do that for the other ledge as well. Yes, this last guy, I'm going to want to shoot an arrow at him while wearing a fairy mask because I'm pretty sure he's possessed by a benevolent fairy. Oh, he's, he's running around now. Oh no, I can't fight him. Okay, he's, he's off. Got him. Ah, oh, okay. He wasn't possessed. He was the key holder, the, uh, the trigger to unlocking this box. Okay, we'll try it with an arrow. It's a very low chance of success. What is it in there? Ah. Easy. Actually, I can't even get in there yet because I need ice arrows. And the fact that there's lots of arrows and magic here suggests there is a mini boss. The fact that they invented a choo choo specifically for delivering you with arrows <laughs> is uh, not a good sign. Just your run of the mill eyeball on the ceiling. <laughs> it's malice. It's a piece of malice. Alright, I've never fought this guy without a sword, so this is going to be entertaining. Ah, I can't use my lightning powers. <laughs> Get into a spiky roll before one of those eyeballs hit me. Or I hit a wall. One more time. I really just can't see what I'm doing. I got one eyeball. This seems like a lot of a lot of wasted effort. You're no match for my karate. If you if it would reach you. I need some hearts, so I'm gonna have to use a fairy. The American solution. Should just throw bombs at it until it stops moving. Ah, oh, there's lots of eyes now. Last Thing. Get out of here, I don't need magic. Okay, well, we're just gonna take the L. It's only a quarter of a heart every time they hit me. Come on. Oh. <laughs> it's such a tragic death. Alright. We're back though, thanks to the fairy. Come on. One more. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and if we stand right over here, did I get there? Ah, you can, you can, you can stand on the chest as it appears. This used to be the height of entertainment, beating a mini boss. Okay, so now we have ice arrows. We can ice some suckers. I got them. <laughs> and then I'll get hit again. Okay, we are turning on the red water source. The hot water tap. We've activated that little thing and we can just hook shot up and drop down and at the right time we can jump over here and turn this tap to disrupt the entire ecosystem of this temple. So we can turn on the green water which I'm sure following the theme of hot cold this must be the waste water. How, does, how the hell do you get up there? There's a hook shot point and there's the gap. So I must have to work my way into that corner and go... <laughs> oh my god, Link. My guy. 
Oh, we're getting the shakes now. Oh, and now my things are starting to melt. Ah, bunny hook. Is the angle right? Oh, just. It's our eighth one. Oh, there's more here. Yes. Alright. We're slowing down. Okay. So I think. Bunny hood it. Jump straight over. And then we are going to unbunny hood it. And. I don't want to be on the other, the other fin. Can I just walk around? Okay, there must be a fairy in that box. Nice. And then I'm wondering, I know there's one down... Ah, oh, I thought there was like... Oh yeah, there is. There was a room right there. Yeah! That was, that was cool. That's 11, so there's only 4 left. Oh my god. Ah, oh, it's frustrating. Just get in the hole. There we go. Hooray! Reverse through here. We'll go down another level. Uh, we just went through there, so it must be going through here. Which is the final room. But we don't have the boss key. I have to go all the way back to the other spot where we were and get the boss key. And to do that we have to fight a, um, a frogman. It slimes. Oh no, you, you just hit him with arrows, that's right. I just need to do that like seven more times. Nope, he got me. Now he's gonna beat the crap out of me. Just make it quick, we're wasting so much time. Ah. Oh, no, I'm out of magic. Great. This seems unnecessarily cruel. Alright, we're gonna be so quick. Ah, oh, he's already falling when <laughs> I hate this boss so much. <laughs> And because of the timing of this cutscene and getting up, he's going to be falling down already. Hopefully not. I think you want to be as far away from him as possible because he takes time to move away from the center to get you. I hope this is the last time I have to do this. Thank God. <laughs> I always like to do this when I was fighting this boss. Go like this and then go attack. No, 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 that's not how it is. That's not how it is. <laughs> it's not part of the show. There you go. You fly down like this doing a fly kick. And <laughs> then he goes like that. Uh, superhero landing. Standard um, Water Temple boss opening cutscene. Approaching from the shadows, sneaking up on you. Here we go.
Okay, he's eating me. <laughs> it did not last long. There's several ways to fight him. I always found that using the um, the shield to damage him was the best way. But he's quite fast, and I, that lost a lot of health. Maybe I'll get on out of here. Here he comes. It's a little... I didn't get him. Okay, I think you can also fight him with the bow. Oh wow, <laughs> that was easy. Okay, is he gonna let his children out? Need some hearts. No, he's eating me again. Oh god, look at Link. <laughs> okay, I have to fight him as a fish man. Just do one one tap. And he killed me. But, resurrection. Now we're going to have to play it real careful. Lots of squ spirals. And get away from his mouth. Ah, oh, good children. I want to eat your children before you eat me. Missed him. Got him. Oh my god. <laughs> that was... That took a lot of swimming around. And this is the first time I felt... Genuinely scared that I wasn't going to get it done. Oh. So we, we have some things to do now. Okay, we have returned and beaten the water temple, which is great. But, you know what they say, we don't beat the, 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 the temple until you return the fairies to the fairy fountain. Alright, so that's official. Three temples and three fairy gifts. I think this one is encased hearts. Yes, there it is. Uh, a little bit of extra defense for us. So that's a welcome addition. So we've got one more stop before we wrap up this episode, and that's going back to get our sword. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, that's still open. It's done. We have the Gilded Sword. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Look at that thing. Yes. I said that was the last thing we were going to do, but we are going to quickly, and I mean very quickly, head back to Akana Canyon and see if we can't finally beat that skeleton captain guy and get his, his captain helmet. Alright, one last time. I think I have to hit him with an arrow, don't I? God, no. Come back here. I'm right here, you son of a bitch. Oh. Got him. Oh, that was a little bit of a... <laughs> Wait, it is my loss. Sheath your weapon. Yay, we got the captain's hat. Alright, let's go open some graves. These guys are my friends now, and they open graves if I want them to. Don't know why they jumped in though. No, this isn't it, is it? This is Dampy's weird grave digging game. Okay, I have to come back some other day to find the Song of Storms. Okay, that really is the end of the episode then. We'll have to come back here on day one or two and get them to open up one of the other graves and figure out which one has the Song of Storms in a minor setback. But hey, we still got a mask out of it. So thanks for watching and uh, catch you guys next week in the next episode. Uh, I've got to figure out a way to make these endings more exciting.
Okay, bye.